this video is going to talk about one of the main characteristics of having such a good business. Not only having a good business plan, but there are so many ideal protocols that you need to strive to have successful business. Not only is this something that could be verbal, but the actions that you take to solve or make a customer feel appreciated, which is not only to make that customer happy, but they will recommend your product or business to others, which in turn, you're gonna be able to sell more. To, and in long term, this will be better for you. Hi, I'm Susie J. Cobwebs, and this is my writing channel. And I do different aspects of starting a brand from scratch. And I have many different ideas and feelings that go with this roller coaster of emotions of such a hog. And these are things that would strive to grow your business. Now I have establishment and restaurant reviews and frugal tips and self-care along the way. Not only you need to check out the writing prompts that I have on this channel, which are fictional and journal writing. They're only for five minutes and you could just do that in your spare time. So this video is going to be about a certain characteristic is to have integrity. Now you're thinking to yourself, what does this have anything to do with business? I'm glad you asked. Not only to have integrity for yourself, but for your business, this is a great way to start a company with your business practices. This will not only help your customer service that will come to you, but this will also help future customers come and eventually meet you on your journey. Now, whenever I talk about integrity, what does integrity mean to you? Do you really think that that applies to your business? Can you comment that down below? The best way to explain this quickly, of course, is that you are open and honest when you are communicating with others. This could be the person that is sitting right beside you or the colleague that you have in the office, or maybe they live across the country. This is a person that has good, strong morals and principles. Is that you? I hope so. You are hold accountable for the actions that happens to you, correct? In your personal life, in your work life, and in your business. This is a sturdy foundation practice if you would like to have your business succeed. So to put this in reality, let's just say you're in the store and the cashier gives you too much change. Or maybe you walked out of the store without paying for something and you want to make it right. These things may be a little bit small, but they make a huge impact in your morals and your principles as a person. You are trustworthy and this will only help you out in everyday life and this will also help you grow as a business. Now let me ask you, would you go back and pay for that said item? Would you go back to that cashier and let them know that they gave you the wrong change? Can you comment that down below? Be honest. I understand that there's people out there that wouldn't. Or if you would, just be honest. As you get to have more and more people know you as a person and know you as a brand, you start to build up this rapport or reputation for your company or for your business or for your social media life. And this will start not only with your personal life too, I can't express that enough too, because even in your personal life, that will also go over to your business life in that type of aspect. And this will help you build your brand, build your business up. And your customers will be more comfortable with you so they can rely on you if, God forbid, something happens and they need to return it or they need to fix it of some sort or it doesn't work, or whatever the case may be, that's where the customer service comes into play. And this will also help on your YouTube channel. Having integrity or having viewers be loyal to you, this is more than an emotion than a transaction. Just like any other feelings, you want your viewers to have trust in you, in your journey. Not only are they willing to watch your videos, but they're willing to maybe buy your product. They feel that you have a good product, 
a good book, a good service that you are offering. This will also impact your viewers and your subscribers. Like, for example, they feel more trustworthy towards you, right? This will help them buy your product and your service. And the best part about that is they will recommend that your company, your website, your channel, product, whatever, to their friends and family and coworkers and neighbors down the street and people that live in 15 different states over. So it will become bigger and bigger for you. Now, having that great buzz with all of these candidates that could potentially watch your stuff and be business aspects of it, you, they start to get to learn you, learn about you, want to be on your journey with you. And that's wonderful. The more people on your journey, the more people on your tribe, the more audience that you have, they are supporting you in their own way. And that's totally phenomenal. Now, on that flip side, if your customer service isn't up to par and your product isn't up to par and you are not engaging with your customers and sometimes this will falter in your sales and your views and your subscribers. So you need to work on that aspect a little bit. Here's a question for you. What would you do to keep up the integrity as a high service of excellence for your business. Can you comment that down below? If you like these videos and you want to see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button so you can see on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches.